So two points I want to drive about this legal immigration debacle that's happening. And um, it, it was a crazy week last week. Uh, you're finally getting a little noise out there that is being made because it's so out of control. Uh, but I've been trying to communicate this for weeks on end now. Let's start with this one. Illegal immigrants can now vote in New York City. They will vote, of course, according to their interests. But what are their interests? Getting free stuff. So Democrats, that's why they do it. Uh, so these illegal immigrants, these invaders, these criminals, um, vote for them. And that is just the name of that game. It's not a secret anywhere anymore. It's They're invading everywhere. It's a bunch of criminals that are coming through. It's no longer like it used to be. Uh, the good old saying, oh, but they're not all bad. They're not all bad. Not all, not all bad. Most of them right now, yes, most of them are bad. And that is what's happening. A bunch of criminals are coming through. And because of that, we are now paying the price. You got those politicians now trying to act like they want to do something about it, which they obviously do not. This country is being overtaken by illegal immigrants. Uh, people like myself that want to speak about it because I have firsthand experience on this are being censored everywhere and are being shadow banned here on, the, uh, on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be visiting my old stomping grounds and see the impact that illegal immigration is causing out there. It is incredible. But I'm going to bring it a little closer to home. I've been saying that these Venezuelan gangs breaking through all these criminals, not just Venezuelan, but it so happens that they're getting most of the headlines right now because they are terrible. That Tren de Aragua gang in Venezuela, it's terrible. I've come across with a few of those thugs in, the, in my past. Um, they're taking over New York, and now they're going to continue to take over those other cities, and they're going to continue to network now with existing gangs. And there is very little you're going to be able to do about it. These are true criminals. These are real thugs. Uh, they have nothing that is holding him back from doing the worst of the worst because worst case scenario, they get deported. Worst case scenario. And they'll come right back in. That's what they're assuming that they'll be able to do. Americans do not understand the seriousness of this. And you're taking it very lightly. This is a cultural shift. This is a spiritual battle that's happening in this country, but this is a cultural thing. These cultures care very little for human life. They care very little for values. They only want to take. They don't provide anything they do not want to give. They're all about the take. Okay. And now they're taking the life of a UGA student, uh, Lake and Riley, 22-year-old nursing student. He hits home for me because I happen to have a daughter that is going to nursing school. This girl just goes for a run, like you're supposed to be able to do in this beautiful free country of ours, America. Goes out for a run in the college and gets killed, brutally murdered, by an illegal Venezuelan invader. He gets now caught, and um, whew, wouldn't you know it, it's prior arrest, prior convictions, he actually has warrants for his arrest uh, to be deported, and um, has been here for a while getting away. His brother now uh, just also got arrested because of holding a fake green car, which by the way, very few know that his brother uh, works at that campus. He used his uh, fake documentation to get a job at that campus where his brother killed a, an attending student. And um, nothing. Very little noise is being made on the media. Oh, but when meth head convicted criminal George Floyd hmm, overdoses himself and um, puts up a fight with a cop, the cop didn't do it right, I get it. He had no jump manipulation, did not know much about submission, but you know, it looked bad, but that's all it did. It looked bad. Um, this thug dies. And uh, again, white men bad. The nation goes down on fire. Riots everywhere. Even till today, you still got corrupt Democrats talking about it. Statues everywhere. Black Lives Matter makes a ton of money on it. All over the news. Because a meth head, convicted criminal, dies while getting arrested. 
resisting arrest, actually. Uh, but an innocent 22-year-old, Lake and Riley, not a, not no riots anywhere, and nothing happens. Sad. That's why you guys do not understand this illegal criminals come in they have no real value for life you judge them because you don't know any better you judge them by judeo christian beliefs you, ju you judge them by american principles and values not understanding that they don't have those they do not believe in the same things that you believe they don't a lot of them believe that they don't need to do anything they don't need to build anything they can just take it from you because and this you do not understand either. Again, first hand knowledge for me, they think Americans are weak. They're coming here to take from whoever they think is weak. Their culture is different. The way they view crime is different. The way they view religion is different. They have very little, if anything, in common with the way you think with the way that you live your life. They don't come from those same beliefs. And we are opening the spigot for them to all pour in. And they are pouring in. The respect these people have for human life is not the same respect you have. Thugs, criminals, illegal immigrants that are pouring in here and now taking our children away from us. I will continue to speak on this but YouTube is already shadow banning these videos. I ask for your support, spread this word. I worry because I'm afraid that I've seen this happen before. I know who these people are. I know what they can do. I know what they are doing. And by the way, Lake and Riley, it's only one, okay? Not to at all undermine this loss, God forbid. But she's not the only one. This is happening a lot more than you hear it. A lot more than you hear. A lot more crime is happening from these Venezuelan illegal immigrants. And uh, by the way, not yet, but soon you'll hear same stories just in a bigger scale with these Chinese nationals that are also invading and these Middle Eastern that are also invading. These Venezuelans, they're just idiots. They just can't wait. They don't come here with one big thought, one big ploy of doing anything more than just taking for themselves because they have no real calling, no real meaning for life. But this Chinese, oh, they got a calling. They want to take down America. These Middle Eastern terrorists, same thing. They want to take down America. Their calling is not just for themselves. It's for a bigger cause. So we have it coming. If you feel like supporting and spreading this word, consider sharing, liking, and subscribing to this channel. I will continue to do my part with the venue that I do have now, but I worry, and I worry that we're not doing enough.